Daniel Rivera is from Guatemala and is one of the few artists in the world who makes sculptures using modeling clay. Well, here in Guatemala, I am the only plasticine sculptor, but worldwide, I'm not sure. There must be a few. Apparently, there aren't many plasticine artists because it's not a commonly used material. I don't know why. Take a look at what he's capable of. This is a replica of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, one of the sculptures he's most proud of. He replicated the interior and exterior of the church with clay. It took him eight months to complete. However, once it was completed, he had to destroy it in order to build new ones. Ese es el triste final. <laughs> That's the sad ending. The thing is that I'm a person of limited resources. Due to lack of space and not being able to buy more plasticine, the Notre Dame Cathedral exhibition had to be destroyed. I am forced to reuse all that material. It is sad to demolish something that took eight months to build and destroy it in less than two days. He also made this sculpture of a peacock. It was made for the ambassador of India to Guatemala. He also made this church from Guatemala. and this piece used during Holy Week. He's a self-taught artist who dreams of getting a scholarship to study in Europe and continue his education. There are many good artists here in Guatemala that abandon their passion because there are no opportunities in art making. Among his projects are a sculpture of St. Peter's Basilica at the Vatican and Central American monuments to commemorate the bicentennial of their independence. At 20 years old, he has taught himself how to make works of art and has even designed a mechanism to prevent them from collapsing during earthquakes. Without a doubt, he possesses a great talent that is bringing back the art of using modeling clay, a material that's for so much more than just child's play.